Cystic Fibrosis Foundation Compass presents Navigating CF, a series of informational videos for people with CF, their families, and caregivers, presented by Compass case managers like me. This short video will help you know how to file an appeal with a commercial health insurance plan. Want something else? Find the video you need in the Navigating CF playlist. Commercial health insurance plans are provided and administered by for-profit companies. If you have individual or family coverage through the marketplace, also known as the Exchange or Obamacare, or if you purchase coverage directly from an insurance company outside of the Exchange, or if you're part of your employer's health plan, you have commercial insurance. Importantly, when we talk about commercial insurance, we are not talking about public insurance options, such as Medicare or Medicaid. You'll find videos about the appeals process for those plans in the Navigating CF playlist. The Affordable Care Act helped standardize the process for appealing a decision when commercial health plans say they will not pay for something but there are some exceptions and slight differences from plan to plan, so you need to know the specific process for yours. It may also be helpful to view the insurance appeals video in the Navigating CF playlist. To begin, learn everything you can from the denial letter or explanation of benefits. What was the reason for the denial? What are the appeals process and deadlines? Who can submit the appeal? How do you submit your appeal and what is the timeline? Then, review your policy to be sure you understand what is covered and not covered. If you need help or more information, contact your insurance plan for an explanation. You can typically reach member services by calling the number listed on the back of your identification card. Work with your provider to make sure you have all of the documentation needed to strengthen your case including a letter of medical necessity from your physician and helpful supporting data and research. Make copies of everything submitted. Be sure that your appeal is filed within the time limits set by your insurance plan and note the date submitted. Then, follow up with your plan by phone to make sure all required information has been received and keep following up on the status of your appeal until you get an official response by mail. If the denial is upheld, look at taking your appeal to the next level. Although the levels of appeals differ from plan to plan, the usual first step is an internal appeal filed within the required time after receiving the denial letter. For most plans, this is 180 days or about six months. This starts the formal process of your request for a full and fair review of the plan's decision. At this point, the health plan will either reverse or keep its initial ruling, and they must do this within 30 days for a pre-authorization request, within 60 days for an already completed service or treatment, and within 72 hours for an urgent case. If your appeal is denied, most plans allow for a second level appeal, which can be an external or an additional internal review, depending on the type of the plan. Sometimes an insurer will conduct a peer-to-peer -peer evaluation in which your provider will speak with a medical professional associated with the insurance company to determine whether the service or therapy is medically necessary. Finally, an external appeal is a review of the denial by an independent, impartial expert. Based on your state, the external review can be filed through the state's Department of Insurance or follow the Federal Department of Health and Human Services administered review process. If your case is urgent, you may be advised to file an external review request at the same time as an internal appeal. There is an important detail that affects appeals with employer plans, and that has to do with how your employer pays for the benefits it offers. In fully insured plans, a group of employers pay premiums into a pool of funds from which the insurance company pays claims across the group. The insurance company assumes the risk because employers pay the same amount whether or not their employees use their health benefits. 
These plans fall under the jurisdiction of a state's Department of Insurance, which can have the final say in the appeals process. In a self-funded plan, the employer, not the insurance company, pays most or all of the costs or claims. The fewer claims, the less paid out by the employer and vice versa. As a result, employers have more control over what is covered and what is denied and typically have the last word on appeals. Check with your HR department or your plan's member services to find out if your health plan is fully insured or self-funded if you need to file an appeal. After all appeals, if coverage is still denied, talk to your provider. If you haven't yet received the service or treatment, there may be alternatives or financial assistance options available. If you already received the service or treatment, you may have to pay the charges. If so, be sure to make arrangements as soon as possible to avoid having your bill sent for collection while you're exploring any financial assistance options. You'll find more in the Navigating CF series under support at cff.org. And remember, you're not alone. Compass case managers, like me, are here to help every step of the way, including identifying options for financial assistance.